Paris when he free farms. Uh, more so than the Juggernaut, more so than the Weaver. If he's allowed to get that first 10 minutes of free farm, it gets ugly. Now up top, we are going to see the first blood as Weaver just dives hella deep onto the Dark Seed. Now looking for the Ricky as well. Let's see what's going to happen here. To the Axe is going to get stuck in place courtesy of the Oracle Purge. It could be a smoke cloud event to do anything, but looks like he's just spinning away. God, he landed like three Helixes. Waveform back in, and Oracle is going to be able to secure the last hit courtesy of the <laughs> damage over time. Uh, so really nice pick up there. Morphling participating in kills already, not feeling pressured in lane. This is looking really good for Ramses. And let's F5 step up their gank game, I think. Virtus Pro are scaling up really, really nicely. Speaking of gank game there, Juggernaut does wrap around. They are able to secure the kill on the Alchemist again. So two down in the span of just... All right, gonna continue to uh, fix the sound. It's probably just my mic being too low. This is a brand new uh, mic setup. Missed that wall right there as I'm just in game sounds. Sorry about that, guys. All right. Hopefully better this time. Try to uh, crank the volume up just a little bit. That should work. Yeah, mid lane, just an unleash of heroes coming in. The nice call from the Axe. Combine that with the uh, stun from the Alchemist. Oh, man. The Omni Slash just in time. The Waveform secures a kill. There is still going to be a Culling Blade drop down. The Juggernaut loses his life, but they're able to trade for three right now. Oh god, the two drop down in the middle lane, the Weaver drop down elsewhere. This Weaver, they know it's their time to shine. Call in, Axe is able to connect onto no one, but Oracle with the immediate heals. They are not messing around. There's the Omni Slash, zip zap it every which way. But very tanky here, as no one's going to be dropping down just yet from this. Big engage, dust, vacuum wall, fantastic playing from the Darkseer. Yol is going to be dropping down, not able to get off the shallow grave in time. And now Weaver, Sakuchi's underneath the tower, Alchemist channeling up that concoction doesn't really give a whole lot back. It's really only useful as a component in other objects. And a solo taking a ton of damage here, forced to use the ulti on himself just to keep him up, uh, trying to eat off these bugs. Meanwhile, Ramses just eats the alchemist. BZD didn't stand much of a chance there. The Ricky helped out. But the tower, no one just wants to get up in here, start farming. There is a disruption on the Juggernaut. Now there's the jump in. Axe wants to go for something, but no one. He's moving forward. He's going to be the aggressor here. Nice vacuum wall once again. There's the Morphling waveforming in. Everyone's escaping onto the high ground. This Juggernaut finally does end up popping after the Oracle ult stops keeping him alive and Pasha running for his life against Illidan. There's going to be a nice call. They should be able to finish off the Darkseer. But there's going to be that shotgun onto the Shadow Demons. They do lose something as well. Now Lincoln Spear pop from the Unstable Concoction. Ramsey's trying to get home alive, but can he actually get out of here? Has that waveform in five seconds. He's going to be trapped in, called up. Ramsey's in a really unfortunate position. No replicate to hop to. And there's not a whole lot the Ricky can do. There is going to be that Lincoln Spear back up. The Unstable Concoction will pop it. Can the Morphling actually make it out of this one? No more mana for the waveform. He's going to be trying to slap down the Alchemist. Will be able to do so. And now the Ricky, back alive, at least occupying some time, goes in, cancels his ult, and does end up falling, but allows for the Morphling to get out, which is just super, super crucial. If Morphling is currently going to cut continue to stack up in favor of a Dire. Now, nice deep call there onto Solo. A lot of resources invested onto this Oracle. Yeah, they get the Oracle down, but there's pressure on the mid right now. There's pressure on the bottom. So big rotation means that we're in. And they're definitely not going to be able to lock down this Weaver infinitely, but they're doing the best they can. Um, no time lapse. All right. Weaver is picked off. It does take a wall, but really, really just free farming up top. I think Morphling's been given a lot of space because you know, with that really early Lincolns, it's so hard to lock down this little water droplet, but it's going to come at a huge cost. Now, there was going to be uh, a kill. Ricky finally able to pounce onto that Shadow Demon. He's looking for more. Goes in onto Yul, forces out the Shallow Grave. That is not going to last forever. And they are going to bring in the Omni Slashing Juggernaut. Goes around. Lots of targets to split up the damage. Now, no one going to get stunned up by the Unstable Concoction. Drag back in another Grave Bag Wall. Only connecting up to two this time. It is going to be enough. There's going to be the time lapse on the Weaver. Sentry Ward down. Meanwhile, Ricky on the back lines was able to pick off that axe. Point Alchemist should be much, much farther ahead. Deep aggressive blink in. No one is going to be in some trouble there. No one to save him. Does not have the Oracle nearby. Now Ricky darting around, trying to at least keep some eyes on what the Radiant are. It's going to be a huge amount of control, but this tower is melting very, very quickly. Ramsey's called up, will be healed by the Oracle. Now there's going to be a wall forcing the disjoint of the fight. Fantastic Five now running away. Nice shotgun there as Ramsey's able to take down the axe like it's nothing. And they're looking to go initiate onto this Weaver. Nice center ward plop down. Agent. All right, Ricky continuing just to be a brat, jumping in solo down bottom, should be picked off here. Yeah, 
he's gonna be grabbing himself a shadow demon kill nice and easy does give his own life for it but again it's ramses he ain't messing around he wants to just dive right in get this over with dives into all of the heroes there is backup at the ready though omni slash comes back in ramses still fighting through this lincoln's now popped they're fighting underneath a nice little smoke cloud there from the ricky wall drop down they immediately get the pick on axe as well they're looking for more they do have the weaver scooching away can they keep eyes on him like they might be able to do so. There's the diffusal charge, and they're going to be leaping forward. But another scoochie away as BZZ chips away at the Oracle on the back line. Ramsey's jumping in deep for this one, trying to get the fight on the uphill advantage. Meanwhile, down back, Weaver somehow still alive. BZZ moving forward, wants to get the punish onto the Ricky. Ramsey's, though, man, he is just all up in this, morphing a little bit of strength now, making sure he's got that HP pool to get out safely. Little does he know, he goes for the self-disrupt, it's going to be a TP rotation in from the Dazzle. They are able to get out that smoke cloud and that Ghost Scepter. He's going to be burning down the Ion Shell damage. Going in and Dazzle, well, Dazzle cancels his TP, does not want any precaution. Still does Lash and they do have Vision. There is going to be a gem on that Weaver, so they are able to find the Ricky when he comes out of his ulti. Going for the call, but one more clop, the Alchemist Swords. And they do get something for their troubles meanwhile, though. Down bottom out. I mean, illusions are honestly the biggest line of defense here. You've got yourself a Shadow Demon and a Manta. Oh, RMN is completely plunked down, not finished off entirely by the shotgun, but forced to go back to the face. Now, Ramsey's taking a lot of damage from his own little illusions there created by the Shadow Demon. The tower does eventually fall. Alchemist is forced back. We're going to see no one there at the ready. He's got himself his Omni Slash if he really wants to jump into this. Right, Ramsey's caught out here, still has the Aegis, is going to be healed up by the Oracle on the back line. We've got a nice Omni Slash connecting onto two. Yol going to eat most of it, goes into the Ghost after form. Defensive disruption trying to keep him alive. Axe does drop, Morphling popping out the Aegis. Now Pasha burning down very, very quickly, going for the Force Staff away. Solo goes into Ghost form, trying to heal himself up, but eats an unstable concoction. Meanwhile, on the high ground, you've got no one. No more Omni Slash for him, he's fresh out of mana, does end up dropping. So they lose the Oracle, they lose the Juggernaut, and Morphling doesn't really find anything in that fight. So Vert is pro end up coming out on the bottom of that. They aren't able to take Elena Rax yet. 46 minutes in with a Morphling, with a farm jug. It feels like they're just not really farming to their maximum potential. Uh, if DP are waiting for the next Roshan to group up and go in, if they're trying to apply some split push, but right now Pasha, oh god. He ends up dying in the base. The bug just does a little bit too much damage. Very well played from the Weaver, not giving up. It's gonna change things out. Well, Morphling leaves the pit, knowing he wants to fight mid. If they can actually get a couple of heroes down before the Roche, that'd be great. Juggernaut bouncing around, going in for that Omni Slash, but immediate kill onto Pasha. Gem of Truesight on the deck. Now, no one running away is gonna be slowed down by that Demonic Purge. Looks like he's gonna be the victim here. There's nothing he can do about it. He's not able to survive this, so all of a sudden, Fantastic Five get two free pickoffs, and there's nothing Ramses can do. Call waveform out. The axe won't find it today. It's gonna be that charge up. Solo just getting melted down, standing in the acid spray as well. Could be in some serious trouble. It has to go back to base. It's Morphling versus the world right now. A full lane of Rax is consumed, and they do end up losing the Ricky as well. Ricky just wanted to help, but he goes down. The first Rax are actually going to be claimed by levels for himself, but either way, we're about to have a nice big fight there as Ramses is going to be disrupted up. Pasha goes into the pit, gets a nice back wall, connecting on the roof. This could be an Omni Slash jump in every which way. The Roshan goes down. Weaver gets the snatch. It is killed off by the Dire, but Weaver picks up that second life. Can they actually punish him? Illidan is still up, still fighting Ramses. He's DK beat up, trying to get the kill onto the axe, but this could be the Glimmer Cape. They don't have any more vision. They're looking for something else here. No one's stunned up, brought down. There's gonna be buyback on the Juggernaut, absolutely necessary. Oracle hits the deck as well. Man, this, oh God, the shallow grave, keeping BZZ alive completely. Godlike streak for Ramses is able to go ahead and pick off the Shadow Demon, but that is just minimal pickings compared to what's going down here. Morphling, he's still up. He really wants to fight and should be able to get the pick off on at least someone. There we go able to get the kill on the Dazzle as well, but that was not an ideal fight. Weaver is moving forward, wanting to attempt onto Ramses. They're gonna get the call off. If they can get the Morphling down here, this is huge. Oh God, the Culling Blade right through him. There is a buyback on the Morphling. He's gonna immediately spend it up. Can get back in this fight pretty easily. Gonna be TPing back in. There's no one spinning around. Doesn't have the Omni Slash. Already spent it up, but they need to get the kill on the Axe to make this worth it. That's Shallow Grave keeping him alive. They drop the Abyssal. He walks through the wall. He should be going down, but the heals. Oh god, the slash in the blink strike from the Ricky finally picks off the axe and go look for something else. There is gonna be Ramsey's BK beat up. He's huge, he's mean, but his BKB is about to wear off, and the rest of the Radiant are still up, are still fighting. Illidan gets a kill on the back line, this buyback from the Oracle coming back trying to save everyone. Meanwhile, the Ricky blink striking in. He Blade mail. Will it be enough? The Aegis is popped out. And now, oh, Vacuum Wall coming back in, but not doing a whole lot of work. Pasha just burning down. Another gem is going to be on the deck. They're looking for something more. 
Juggernaut jumping around. Ramsey's hitting the hardest that he can, but he's going down so quickly. Healed up by Solo. Solo giving his life for this. Can they get down BZZ? He shallow graved up. Ramsey is still looking for something. This team goes after ending up. Yol ends up going down. No more shallow grave for him on the back line. So Illidan is able to take out the Oracle. And then moving forward, there's going to be BZZ running away with just a fraction of his life. The Oracle. All right, now Godlike Streak comes up with Illidan. They're looking to jump. This is going to be perhaps the final fight. Nice vacuum, but no real follow-up. Omni Slash comes in. No one able to try to get a kill for himself. He's spinning around, looking to focus on the BCZ right now. BCZ is going to be hitting the deck. Oh, he's able to get back. Going to be healed up by the Weaver Ags. But oh my gosh, now Ramsey is he's going to be the one in trouble. Ramsey's goes down, does have buyback. May want to spend this up immediately. Does get himself back into the fight. Alchemist as well is going to be TPing back in. Two Diffusal Blades running low in terms of charges. There's not a whole lot he can do. He's going to be jumping here, trying to get the kill onto RMN. The Hex, it lasts long enough. They get down the Shadow Demon. They leave the gem on the deck. I mean, Ricky's got no time for these small little gems. Oh, but yeah, at this point, okay, we've got a Disrupt coming back out. They want to focus down Ramsey. He's going to be waveforming himself back to safety. Jump in, Pasha goes in nice and deep underneath the smoke cloud. They do get the Wall of Reference off, but now Pasha has to force out himself back up to the high ground. All the heroes on Fantastic Five are still fine. Oracle is the one that gets dropped down low. Shadow even gets the credit for that kill. And Oracle doesn't have buybacks, and now it's a 4v5. Oracle, not the most crucial hero of all, but that means there's no more save on your Morphling. BCZ may have stepped out a little bit out of bounds here. He's trying to go up against the Ricky. Ricky dropping low. This may be the end here as Ramses splashes in, has that BKB, but isn't quite sure who to focus. There's going to be the spin around. Now there's the Abyssal dropped onto BCZ. Another vacuum back in, but no one drops. No one has no buyback. I think this is going to be the end here as Ramses will drop as well. The GG finally called 80 minutes into the game. What an incredible match. Uh, big turnaround here all throughout the early game and the mid game. It